Hello everyone, this is Cindy and uh, this is the first video I've had a chance to thank Pam at the Paper Outpost. She mentioned my name in one of my videos on her uh, YouTube channel and I got a lot of subscribers um, because of it and a lot of people looking at some of my uh, videos. So I appreciate her doing that. I appreciate everybody that came over and subbed um, my channel and also who watched some videos and commented and, and let me know what was going on because I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I didn't have that many subbies. Uh, so anyway, I want to thank all of those people. And I also want to thank all the subbies I've had from for a long time that's uh, stuck with me and watched my uh, videos too. So anyway, so in order to, um, you know, kind of honor her, she showed my video. I'm going to show you one of my favorite pockets of all time. And it was her idea. And I actually had this folder. You can see this red folder here. It's in my uh, filing cabinet. And um, I kind of had forgotten about them. Uh, I pulled one out a couple of weeks, a month ago. How, you know how time kind of flies. Uh, so I'm not sure. But I have so many prepared. It's like, oh my goodness. I need to get these out and get these used. So what they are is just scrappy pockets. And they're made on just scrap backgrounds and like book page mainly. Here's one with the book page. And you just take scrappy bits of paper, glue them down. And then you can add a focal point. You can add stamp, a stamping. You can add focal point and stamping. And I just do a little bit of color on some of mine. Some of them I did a lot more. You can cut the divot out for the pocket or you can just leave it straight across whatever you want. Here's a couple of uh, die cuts I put on there. Um, just whatever, and um, it's just messy. And the thing that makes, here's one I didn't cut the divot out of. What makes them really great to me, and that's something that doesn't go, so while well, you're in here, is the greatest thing, I've said it like three times now, is the stitching around it, the messy stitching. So I wanna make sure you can see that, and hopefully the shadows aren't too bad. It's just get on your sewing machine and get straight stitched and just go around it a couple of times and, and just kind of do like this when you're going around it. The messier, the better. So anyway, I love these and I thought I'm going to make a couple for my um, Halloween journals I'm working on. So I could take some of the bases I've already done, but I wanted to show you kind of start to finish. So um, we'll do that and see, I have those and see, here's some I prepared in advance too. I mean, these are all of those little things you cut off your ends and like over by my paper trimmer, I've got a stack, you know, like four feet tall of just trimmings off of papers and you just glue them onto a book page then you can cut them to the size you need later. So nothing goes to waste on this. So anyway, so here's, uh, too many sews. <laughs> um, book page and I just put it under this white so I won't get so much glue on my folder and I had even in this little uh, folder I had this envelope full of more scraps and these um, bright color ones are ones I just added so I can use those for my Halloween journal so just to give it a pop of color and I'm trying to lose those there so anyway I'm just going to start grabbing and tearing and gluing down and um, some of those uh, pockets I just showed you had been trimmed. I guess I won't glue on here because uh, it's going to hang over. Had been trimmed. Some of those had been trimmed straight edge and some of them had not. So it just depends on what look you want. And like this one is sticking out on both sides. If I think that's too long, I can always take my scissors and trim it or I can just tear it like that. And see, this doesn't have a um, torn edge. It's a cut one. So um, who knows what I'll do. So anyway, uh, I don't really want text, so I'm just going to tear that off. And that can go in a pile over here for some other project. And I'm just going to glue it down. And since it's going to be overlaying something, I might wait on that and see what I can find to lay down there. I can lay that down. And uh, it's got paper behind it. So anyway, I'm just... Uh, just kind of shocked that <laughs> I looked at my channel to see, I uh, was thinking about doing a giveaway for to get 700 subscribers and I looked and I had almost 800 and I'm like, wait a minute. So I really appreciate Pam. And I also appreciate the people that told me uh, that she had done that because I thought, what's going on? So anyway, uh, let's make a few more of these. Now see, I still made a minute. Okay, I'll do it this way. I'll do it up. <laughs> if I keep going down, I'll never have anything underneath it. So I don't want to lose that little curve and all that uh, torn paper. So, And straight lines, you know, um, are fine on this because it just makes it obvious what you've done. 
and uh, that just makes it more fun. I was going to throw in some color, and we don't want a lot. And I'm almost right here at the edge where one pocket would end and one would begin, so I may need to go back and add a little bit more, but just a little pop of color here and there. And if something's not glued down, then you know you just go back um, and glue it. And you could obviously use um, glue stick if you wanted to on these, but I don't know. I just wanted to um, use our glitter glue. So okay, let's get some different ones. Here's one that's got like a little blue edge on it. That'd be fun. Yeah, the video that she liked was where I was using book pages up a lot because you know like everybody I was just kind of being swamped by book pages and I was making tags out of book pages and uh, this would be a good one just gluing sheets of uh, book page together and I just came up with the method of uh, gluing a backing paper while everything was still in the book, I glued everything together while I was still in the book, and then I tore it off. That way, everything was lined up, and then I just used a cardboard template of a tag just to trace around and cut. So, um, she, um, what do you call it? Uh, oh gosh, I'm going blank. Linked. There she. I go. <laughs> she linked my. Um, video so I'm going to link her video that where she's making this pocket if I can find it I know it's been a couple of years ago so if I can't then I will at least link her um, channel not that you guys don't know who she is but um, just as a courtesy I guess okay So I have a bunch of those bases made up, so I need to get them out, and then I can make them um, just work for whatever holiday you want. It's just that's your focal point, or your um, you can add even once you um, already have these made. If you decide to go back and add a pop of color on there, that can just go on top. So uh, here's a little bit older stuff. I don't have much left of that though. Strip there. Not very long. And we'll put that there. And then I'm going to put up another piece of color or two down at the bottom here. I think I'll do some more orange. That's a weird shape. <laughs> it's just the way it came out. And I don't care that it's square, I mean, that it's from a corner. It's just going to be like that. And then let's do a little bit of the green. Here's some purple. Um, I'll do it up here because one of my journals, if you haven't seen the videos, is uh, going to be more like Halloween colors, trick-or-treat colors. Not Halloween colors, trick-or-treat colors. And then the other one's going to be more like spooky uh, haunted house type stuff. So I'm going to add the orange. And here's a little bit of black from something. So I'm just going to add that. And anyway, we have some pops of color. Okay, now, of course, you can... Um, trim it with scissors or you can tear it like I'm going to do it and uh, you can also cut it in two but I'm going to go ahead and stamp on mine before I cut it in two because I don't know why I'm just doing that okay I have many Halloween stamps I just grabbed this one because we've got a good variety we have a spider web to start with and I'm not going to mess with the um, what do you call it uh, the thing you put the stamp on acrylic block I'm just going to reach in there and grab it this says boo I don't think I've ever used it so okay I don't know that I want boo on the bottom here maybe since it's a, <laughs> since it's a Halloween one there I mean a spooky one that would say boo um, I turned it upside down whenever I was stamping there 
Okay, spider. Oh yes, gonna have one by the webs. Okay. And poison bottles, absolutely must. And string eye. Yes. And I'm not taking care. I don't care if it prints the whole thing or not, because it's just a messy, messy pocket. Okay, let's do the bats and then we'll be done. We'll see what's next on the ones we have finished. If there's something I've left off. At. One more bat up here, maybe. Okay, now if you want to do script stamping or something like that, then that would be great. Um, let's see. I'm going to miss over here. I just did focal points and the stitching. I even have a price tag there. $2.75. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I am going to cut this one now in half. And this book page is so... Oh, you know what? I have this. And I got it because I ordered the little spots that... Uh, if you've seen Gail's video. But it looks like hers on the YouTube... On not YouTube. On the Amazon... Um, order thing but it arrives like this and I'm not real happy with it I think it looks more like mildew so I was thinking about peeling it off this block and that way I'd have a little bit more control but I haven't done that yet so anyway I just added some mildewy spots to that okay this measures how far does this measure sorry about the loud clanging let's see about seven so let's make it three and a half it doesn't have to be exact we're gonna make two different journals Okay, there's our two pockets. There's one, and here's the other one. I'll turn that around, I guess. And then I'm going to take the divot out. And then I'll stitch around. And I'm going to, I'll do that off camera because I, um, I don't like, I'm not really set up to film with my sewing machine, but I'm going to go stitch around those real quick and I'll be right back and show you what they look like. Here are the two pockets stitched around, and here is this one that I said would go into the more spooky type journal, the Haunted House journal. And then um, I added that number there. I have a whole bunch of numbers I got from the Junk Journal Studio, so I added that. And on this one, I already glued it in. I realized it was too wide for the page, so I just uh, whacked off the ends and um, restitched, you know, down the sides, and it just makes it all the more grungier. So. Um, so even if you have them prepared in advance and you have them sewn, you can just always cut that off and shorten them a little bit or, or narrow, make them more narrow. So anyway, um, thanks for watching. And I uh, appreciate very much you guys coming and watching my videos and subbing my, to my channel. So thank you. Bye.